It may look like we're at Chick-fil-A, but we're not. We're just having Chick-fil-A for dinner across the street from Chick-fil-A. But you can't see it because we're experiencing a torrential downpour. Nice thunder and lightning. And if we're never seen or heard from again, I hope somebody finds this footage. Any last words? Bye. North Carolina. We came, uh, we're making our way up the East Coast, but we specifically stopped here to go to a concert at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. Uh, little 90s country music concert, Sammy Kershaw, Aaron Tippin, and Colin Ray. And when we were looking for a place to stay, I went online and saw that the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds actually has a campground. So we were like, oh, that's awesome. Uh, so 30 bucks, full hookups, stay the night. Uh, we figured, you know, other people would take advantage of it as well because it's super convenient. It's right here on the fairgrounds. But as you can see, We are it. There is not another RV in sight. There is an abandoned car up on the right, which looks like it's been here for a while. But John and I are the only ones who stayed here last night, had the whole place to ourselves. It was actually really nice. Um, and the concert was just over there at that building. So super easy walk. But definitely a little bit of a creepy vibe when we first got here, since we are the only ones. And you are here, like me, to listen to some great classic country music tonight. <laughs> Mr. Aaron Tiffin is here. Mr. Colin Wayne is here. And Mr. Sammy Kershaw is here, folks. and also tribute albums. And I've been on a whole bunch of tribute albums. I've been on one with, uh, uh, oh, good Lord, the Beatles and uh, Leonard Skinner, Jim Croce, uh, ZZ Top, uh, the Rolling Stones, I've been on all, all those, you know. And I like doing them. So during that COVID thing, we couldn't work at all. We were stuck at home. We couldn't even, we couldn't even work, hold a show in the backyard. It was tough, man, we didn't like it. It hit right when I had about two albums worth of music sitting in the studio in Muscle Shows, Alabama. So I couldn't get in there to sing, but anyway, a record label called me up and they said, we're going to do a special project album to Eric Clapton. I said, well, how in the hell y'all plan on doing that? He said, well, he said, we're going to cut the music here in Austin, Texas, and then we're going to email you the music and then you can go in your little studio in the backyard and you can sing your part, send it back to us. And then we'll take it and we'll send it to London so the guy, the guitar player, can put his part and send it back to Austin again. And then they mixed and mastered it 
And uh, I love the way it turned out. The only country artist they have to be on the album. And there's people on there from all over the world. And then I find out a couple of weeks ago, the album I think is coming out at the end of this month. I also found out that it was going to be a, they're going to put the, the single, my single, on, on radio to radio. That so hopefully, hopefully we'll get a little, uh, a little movement on it. I don't, you know, I don't send, I don't expect much from radio anymore. I don't hear a whole lot of country music anymore, you know. But I still send it anyway, you never know. You never know, they might make up, wake up one morning and say, hey, today we're going to play country music. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts When everyone folds your forge to hold I want to say this on behalf of Sam and Aaron and myself, uh, I, I have to make note of this, but I'll just thank you guys so very, very much for keeping 90s country music alive in 2022. None of us, if you'd ask us back in 1991 or 93 or something like that, if we thought we'd still be out here getting to do this 30 years later, we laughed. You know, but we just appreciate this so much. And we've been on a roll here lately. 90s country music made a big comeback. And changed my life. You know, okay, I mean, it was very, very exciting, very fun, very exciting. The band was just loud and, and the driving and the, the, the response of the audience was so good. I thought, man, this is fun. I want to do this again. So over the next few years, we would save up whatever band we could scrounge together and go see whatever bands came through our area. You know, we saw everybody over a course of time. And uh, it was sort of, so when we started having bands of our own and trying to learn how to do this, uh, my brother and I, it was like, it was a mixture of our love for country music and our love for rock and roll. It kind of turned us into what we became, you know. And uh, sad to say, I lost my brother back in February. He'd been ill for a while. He passed away in February. And uh, so, I've, I don't know, I've just been kind of doing this song and a tribute to him. We hope you like it, though. It's called Rock and Roll Bone. 